bang, bam, ooh wee, hey -o. oh my god, dang, boom, oh there's more. Hey everyone, what do you think of those generations? Let me show you exactly how to make them. The subject here doesn't really matter, I went with Owl Lord, but here's part of the prompt that you came looking for. You're gonna go, buy Harry Finney. Now, I have to clarify that Harry Finney, as far as I know, isn't a real artist, but Mid Journey will do this funny thing sometimes when you use the describe feature. Mid Journey will write prompts for you, and if it includes a real artist, it will add a hyperlink to their name so you can see their art. But some Sometimes it will include a name that doesn't have a hyperlink, which means the artist doesn't technically exist, but Midjourney still generates differently when using that name, so just keep that in mind. Then next, you're going to say, in the style of pop art inspired visuals, and here's why I called these prompts album covers, because it's in the prompt, and I feel like that makes a pretty big difference. And then we're going to follow it with bold manga lines. Lastly, we have RTX comma metal and in some of these cases i use stylized 400 and chaos 40 but that's just a personal preference i really don't think you need to and this is what that concoction comes up with like such cool colors such a cool art style oh i can't get enough of this then i tried the vietnam sphinx when chaos is set this high you never really know what you're gonna get but i love what this prompt generates this is all in version 5.1 by the way 5.2 is due out soon and maybe it'll be released by the time you see this, feel free to try it on that algorithm. Look at what it can do with poetry. Tomorrow is too late. I love number one so much. I think that's so beautiful. Autumn snowfall, take a look at number two. And maybe I should mention that this is why I use a higher chaos value. I've made a lot of mid journey images in the last year. And at this point, instead of looking for a grid that has four really good images, I'm looking for just one that is absolutely mind blowing. And I find I get that with the high chaos value. Like number two is just, oh, that's insane. The gateway to coral castle. I'll be honest, I'm not really a fan of one, three, or four, but number two, that's the one. Here's a little tip for you. Mention the colors. Even just at the start, as your subject, blue and gold by Harry Finney. Look how crazy these are. <laughs> They're so beautiful. So beautiful. Black and white. I like these a lot. Oh my god. Just oof. so inspiring. I ran it again and it did not disappoint. Oh, it's a just incredible. Oh my god, more goosebumps. 10 cents on the dollar. What does that mean? Absolutely nothing. Doesn't make any sense. Oh my god. Look how good these generations are. It's just, uh, I love Mid Journey. This is a blast. And if you're having fun with these prompts and want to see more of how I do things, you can check out my prompt pack on my website. It has 51 unique prompts, 69 total examples, where I show you exactly how to generate specific looking images. It's really just a recipe book to inspire your creativity. You can copy the prompt directly from the page and paste it into Discord. Super easy to use, check it out, let me know what you think. Now I wanna take you back in time a little and show you the original prompt that started it all. For this one, Batman's my subject, but take a look at the rest of the prompt. After album covers is when I started specifying the colors. And in this case, I recommend writing two colors. You can try more, but I find that two gets the sweet spot just right. Dark crimson and pink. But also Dino Punk was in the prompt. Now this is going to skew your generations as we'll see in a second. Okay, look. Seeing these is what made me want to make this video. How could I not share these with you? Those are so beautiful, man. This one was made special by dark blue and yellow. But look, when Dino Punk is in the prompt, you're gonna get dinosaur looking creatures in your generations. And I think that's okay. I think it really adds a lot, but you've already seen what it looks like without Dino Punk in it. And I think those are just as great. But look at Dino Punk when I added in S400. Just giving Mid Journey a little bit of extra creative freedom. It's like, oh my God. Number three, number four, ah, oof. Goosebumps, man, I'm getting chills. Just sitting here looking at these again. I can't wait to see what you create with this prompt. Here's where I started adding in some chaos. Even with Dino Punk in the prompt, number one, three, and four don't really have anything to do with it. And those are just the most gorgeous pictures. Like, oh my God. Oh, I love these so much. But for full disclosure, they're not perfect every time. This is just a re-roll of S400 C40. These aren't great, but you've seen what came before it. So it's a bit of a gamble with what you're gonna get, but I implore you to try. This is a really fun prompt. Dude, look at it in a wide landscape. Holy cow. Number two is so random, but I love that silhouette, this outline of this character. Number three, the girl with the Godzilla behind her. And then number four, the glowing eyes and the glowing teeth and just like, whew. 
powerful, powerful stuff. For the record, I highly recommend changing up the colors. Turquoise and coral, beautiful palette. Red and green, not bad. Sky blue and cardinal red. Don't be afraid to get really specific. I think I'll do a whole video on color combinations sometime soon, so stick around on the channel if you want to be there for that. Olive green and gold, big fan. Tangerine orange and turquoise blue, oh my god. Look at number, look at these guys. Look at these, just absolutely stunning stuff. And the subject of the prompt is love. I'm not trying to sound redundant, but I love giving Mid Journey just a vague push in some direction and seeing what it comes up with. I know a lot of people like to prompt very specific things, but if you know what you're looking for, I find that the generations often come out a little less magical. Maybe that's a bad way of explaining what I mean, but I really enjoy seeing what Mid Journey comes up with on its own. I actually have two prompts to show you today. Here's the second one. You can start it off the same with some random colors or a subject of your choice, but here's the prompt. Illustration by web underscore north in the style of album covers, followed by Olsen Skinner Clark, then we put comic book style graphics, tech punk, Steven or Stefan Hillenberg, and end it with metal. And we get these, like, oh my god, these are so beautiful, so intricate. I think tech punk really adds a lot to these pictures. Here's what Batman might look like. Like. Here's 10 cents on the dollar. Super, super unique. Invasion. A lot of detail packed into these illustrations. But I know if it's going to be an album cover, you're going to be wanting more of a square ratio. So here are some other examples. Here's Batman again, but S400. At C40, you never know what you're going to get. I like number four and three a lot. And then Corgi battle armor. Look how cool these are. <laughs> They're so funny. All right, there's some album cover prompts for you. Leave a like on this video so we can share it with more people. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.